Okay, well, I, it's get, it's getting wet in the water, uh, as, as it would be. Let's go ahead and hop out and uh, make our way back up. For fuck's sake, Roberts. I thought we could trust you for some reason. I don't... Okay. Edward, don't do that again. You dick. Look, I thought... I thought... I thought we could trust him for some reason. Um, but apparently we can't trust a sage that betrays everyone. I... You know, I... I God, I just didn't see it coming. Right. Let's go ahead. Get out of the damn observatory. Who the fuck is Roberts, that dickhead? I need to adjust where my mic is. It's not at all in the right place. And my chair isn't either. And everything feels out of place. And I don't like it. What? Why'd the door shut? Well, now what do you want me to do? Go around this way? I suppose the area... Oh, oh, okay. Well, fine. I suppose this area, because it's well lit. There we go. I was correct. I don't remember much of this, because, again, like I keep saying, I haven't played it in a while. So it's it's nice to be playing something that I don't really remember how to do. Um, that will probably be the same as if I replayed Syndicate, because I don't remember half of that game either. I've only played it through once. Uh, so, you know. Actually, I've played it through twice, but like again, like I like I said, wait, this can't be the right way, surely. Wait, what? Oh, maybe it is. Um. Uh, no, no, it's not. No, it's really not. Okay. Uh, like I said, I mean, a lot when I played Syndicate the second time, that was when I did it on Horsey and Fox, and sort of we were just going through the through the missions rather than sort of playing it for the story. So uh, maybe we have to go up here. No. Okay, hold on. Oh, how did I miss that? I have no idea. Right, let's climb round. Get this old animus fragment. Nice. We'll keep on going. There you go. Up we go. Sweet. Oh. Oh. oh this is, where, is this where we like hit some stuff and then we see Roberts and we're like, oh no. Oh, I remember this section. Oh god, we're bleeding. Oh, this is where we have the vision, isn't it? With the crystal skull and the, the we go drinking and then and then we join the assassins. Oh, yes, I love this part of the game. This is where it gets really na narrative driven and it's fucking sick. Okay, let's go. Oh, we have the stuff in the prison first, though. Don't we? That'll, yeah, that has to happen first. Oh, well. Survive is our only sort of thing we need to do. Um, they're not attacking me. Oh. Oh, your jack doors flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh... Have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? Have you? Fucking Roberts. Like I said, I love Roberts as an antagonist. He's fucking great. Are we leaving the Animus now? I don't think they do that, surely. Break the pacing like that. Or maybe they would. Maybe they fucking would, because it's the end of sequence 10, so... Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because I did say it was after sequence 10, right? Yeah, I was right. Okay. The fuck are we? Hello? How are you? 
ignore you. If you're anxious, that'll pass. It's the midazolam. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action. And... Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but... No one's seen him since. Aiden Pierce got him. I know this seems excessive, but with our high-level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when hackers found. So get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. This reminds me of Assassin's Creed 1. Having like the room that you trapped in and shit. So they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think we need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level three security clearance. Now. Head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server phone. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now. So when I escort her out, that's when you mm -hmm. make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself, but as the head of IT, I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've already locked up. That's cool. That's how the Animus oh, works here. Templars. They run our lives, you know. Ah, they decide election. They control various capital markets. And... I think I'm going the wrong way. Yep, that's the wrong way. That takes us back up to the main offices. We're gonna go this way. This is the most boring modern day in existence. <laughs> Alright, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Okay, let's do it. Hey! There's no need for you to be down here by yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One. At most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally you can. It's what they signed up for. Even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scout's honor. Coffee's on me, okay? Okay. Where are we off to now? I guess... This way? No. This way. All right. I digitized the coffee stand. Find the server container... The coffee stand. That's where Sean works. Ooh, is the big old building. Is this where Juno shows up? I feel like it is where Juno shows up. This thing's more trial and error than anything, like, it makes no sense, like... There's no sort of strategy to it at all, it's just fucking with it until you get it right. Oh, we have to go through this section now. Ah, shit. Okay, good. We're doing well, lads. Hey!
Now we gotta do one of those sphere things where you gotta rotate the sphere. No? No, we don't. What the, what the fuck's this? Pirates have not. Oh, is this that trailer? Oh, fucking hell. This the is the first trailer for of the deadly 18th century. Black flag. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods, and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bane, and Blackbeard? Pirates of Nightmares. How oh, vibes do I go? Sick game. Sick. I'd play that. Right. Here we go. Oh, there's Juno. You're right. I can feel you, Cypher. Feel. But hardly touch. Signal is still too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused. Like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes. The nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was open too soon. But this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! Oh. God damn it! Shit, he was trying to kill me! I mean, Juno's not gonna be able to live in a human body, like, because it's not the same as an Isu body, so I don't know why she thought that would work anyway. Um, there's kind of no reason given for why any of this happened, or why they thought it would work, or why it didn't work. She's just kind of like, uh, nah, we need to find some more shit first. We need to drag out the, the Assassin's Creed franchise a bit more before I, I come into your body. But thanks anyway. Um, and then just get back on with, you know, Edward Kenway. It's just a bit silly, to be honest. Alright, back to the animus we go. Back to the, the good part of this game. Charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, his majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You 
Mary Reed and Anne Bonny are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead. Oh, Ross. May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls. We're pregnant. Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! Philip, Ken Moore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor go. going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Duncan well, Walpole. Gotta make sure he suffers without dying. This is where Atabai shows up. And back to the prisons at sundown. A oh, massage you speak. Oi! Got that! Quiet. Where's that to buy? I can't even see him. There he is. I can see him now. This is a warning. Just keep getting their attention. Quiet. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever. Like this would ever be a thing that happens. There you go. Why did Atabai risk his life Good to morning, get me out? Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for oh. Ken and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. All right. And after this is where we finally join up with the fucking assassins. Somewhat, sort of. We still have that drunk scene to do. Um, but we're close. We're getting there. We're getting very close to joining the assassins, finally. So many guards, there's so many guards. Do I have any berserk darts? If I do, I'm gonna berserk this dude. Because I reckon he can cause a bit of damage for me. There you go. Stealth our way through here. I feel like stealth is sort of the way to go. Come on, bro. Come on over it. Wait, I'm trying to get the sleep darts. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck, I can't. Oh, shit. There we go. I was trying to get him to come over. Sweet. Okay, up we go. There's a viewpoint over there. We should really get to that, to be fair. Stop you. No, don't, don't. No! no. Ah, shit. Quick, 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 quick. No. How do I... Hang on. How the shit do I even get up here? I guess I have to go around the... Yeah, like that. 
Okay, we made it to the top. Let's go to the fucking viewpoint. Might as well do them while we're here. Okay, let's... So we've got to get into the prison. Is he back up again? There we go. So I this guy. Uh, then let's... Quickly. Um. Hold up. Okay, hold up. Hold up a minute. Let's try berserking this dude. There you go, kill everybody. Oh! Oh my god, I'm killing them all, this is amazing. That was fantastic. Oh shit. There you go. Now let's take out these guys. And then we should be all good to go. Let's just let's just loot them because I want some of their shit. Oh, these guys should actually die though. I want them to be dead. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much shit they have on them. They don't seem to have any sleep darts, which is a little bit disappointing. But um. I think we'll be all right. Who the fuck's looking at me? Dickhead. No, what the fuck? Okay. Oh. They're fighting each other. Alright. No. Hey, sweet. That went way better than I expected it to. Can we grab the sword? Oh, he just drops it. That's a bit shit. He should have put it in his fucking thing. Alright. Here we go. This way you can find Charles Vane. What? I'll do. I thought Anna Mary were like in the cell next to him. I guess they're not. Oh no, wait. Do this way. There we go. Okay, well. No. That's a buy, yeah, it is. Alright, sweet, where's Mary? It's all right, Anne. 
He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child. They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Uh, uh. Lean on me, Mary. Here Come we on. go. Here we go. Search every cell. Come on, that's it. Oh no. Quick. You're all right. And where did I get the blowpipe from? <laughs> Is the end. It's no good. There's no one here. Walking so fucking slowly. Put me down, Edward. Oh no. should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? I will. Take her out. Let's go. Let's get to Atabai and Amboni. Oh god, I thought we'd. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's go. This area has no guards in. Because otherwise, it'd be fucking retarded. Oh, no. No, 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 don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Don't ruin the whole scene by, like, knocking me over. No, please, 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 please. Oh, God, I made it. What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but they suit you. That makes no sense. <laughs> Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. He's done nothing to help him at all like nothing other than this part here all he's done is do like sort of work to dismantle the fucking assassin brotherhood so it makes no sense for him to just be like oh yeah you look kind of good in these though so like maybe keep the ropes like it's so fucking retarded like atabai's a fucking moron in any other situation if you say we like if Ezio did that to someone like edward we'd be like Ezio, what are you doing why are you what the fuck's wrong with you so it's just it's just dumb as shit the only reason we're sort of pleased is because like we're like edward but if you look at it from like an outside point of view, it just doesn't make any sense. Bring a bottle. I teach him color first.
Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Robert. I'll give it here! Here we go. This is one of the cool scenes in the game with the, the visions Remember and stuff. My creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down. What? Get it. Oh, no. Calm, little puppy. And slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction. He's sitting on Bonnet. And ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Blades out running, leaping ship to ship. It's that, it's that bit. What is even going on right now? Let's go to the surface. Oh, we're in a different area now. Why am I killing assassins? I'm so confused. Shit, boy. Oh, no. Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet. You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. 
Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Okay. Back to the jackdaw, lads. Might as well just jump over to it. Actually, where's the mission? Because the mission's probably not even late. It's probably somewhere else entirely. I bet it's Tillum. Let's go. Yeah, it's Tillum. Let's go. Perfect. <sighs> We're getting very close to the end of the game now. Alright, here we go. Everything is permitted. Let's go. Jesus, Ade, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven my personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. Ooh. There is time to make amends, Captain Kenway. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Oh, I love Edward's story so much. Oh, Mary so was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why, indeed. It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. Just give him a rope dart. That's the first step to being an assassin, apparently. Just having a rope dart that everyone has for some reason. Only the attack once more. Very strange that they have like an assassin hideout though. Like I feel like this was sort of the opposite of what Altair went for when he re sort of reformed the Brotherhood in like the the mid sort of 13th century. So it's very strange that they sort of went back to this. I think I've <gasps> that was a gunshot. That was horrible. Uh, okay, hold on. I feel like I had to buy comments on that though uh, in a little bit. I'm not entirely sure though whether he does or not. Oh wow! I was trying to okay. Right, 
Let's head this way. There you go. Get fucked, mate. Oh! There you go. Okay, let's go. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Got him. Oh god. Who's this? Alright, sweet. Let's loot. Let's loot a few of them. We've used up a shit ton of rope darts. Got a few upgrades in the captain's cabin. That's probably something we should look into. Um, at some point. Because I think we're going to need upgrades for that final section of the game. Which I think I'll work on off screen. Oh no! Okay, let's keep going. Oh my god, Adewale, that was fucking sick. <laughs> no, he was facing the other way. Come on, what the fuck? Oh. Just get this guy. No. No. What the hell? Okay, let's run, let's run, let's run. Oh god. What the hell? go. Sick. Doing a pretty fucking good job now. No, I want this assassin die. What the hell? Stealth assassinated him. Ugh. I think this is the area where the, the Spanish guys just keep spawning in, so we better go to the ship and take out this guy. Whoever this is that we go- Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we're, we're underwater now. Let's just keep going. Okay. Let's get to the ship. Oh no, it's a dead assassin. Oh, it's just a random Spanish captain. It's not anyone. Oh, they wants me to kill 20 of them on the beach. Okay. Yo, no. Hey, get fucked, mate. We did it! Memory 3 of sequence... What's that? Sequence 10? Complete? Oh, sequence 11? Nah, sequence 10. Sequence 10. Sequence 11 is killing all the Templars. And sequence 12 is, like, the ending. Right? I don't know. I've completely forgotten. And once more you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting up, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. Oh, this is one of my favorite scenes in the game. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. Jack and his lads. Jack the lad. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch, all the rest. I'm 
miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. That will curse me. God damn, Darby McDevitt! Ooh, such a good writer. I love him. I love him so much. Darby's so good. I think that's it. I think that's sequence 10 done. Um, and then we sort of, we, now we join up with the assassins and we track down the remaining Templars and take them all out. I know my targets by sight well enough. How will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! It's our present course. Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. I love this part of the game. It's really good. All right, before we wrap up this episode, which How I do want to do. So oh. I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fellow. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. Have no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. That's a nice little conversation. All right, let's head down to the captain's cabin. Look at the rain on the fucking deck. Look how fucking good this this game. This game still looks fucking outstanding, and it's four years old. I'm gonna kill myself over this. <laughs> right, let's go and upgrade. Let's see what Jagdor upgrades we can grab. Uh, which which we can procure. Uh, we got full uh stuff. Ram strength, chain shot, mortar, swivel strength, fiber strength. Uh, you know what? Let's go swivel strength. I feel like we should just upgrade that. Why the fuck not? Um. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's pretty much all of the reason. The reason we can't upgrade much more is because money. To be honest, oh, metal as well. We don't. We don't have a lot of metal. Uh, let's sell all of our sugar and sell all of our rum. And then I kind of want to access Kenway's fleet. Uh, just to check. Actually, let's just quickly. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, fuck it. Uh, let's just check this right here. I just want to see. Let's add more dogs because I have plenty of gemstones, so we'll be alright with that. Uh, yeah, add to my fleet. Uh, I guess I'll salvage this one for gemstones. Why not? Uh, so we can salvage a slip ship from the fleet. Do we have like a really, really weak one? Uh, let's salvage that one. Why not? It's just it's nearly dead anyway. No! Whoa! 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 whoa. Fuck it. Let's. Okay. Fuck. Fuck it. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Okay, this is really confusing. I don't like it. Um, let's see, unlock New York. Uh, collectible. All right. Um, I just think if we had anything. Uh, rusty smile. I don't know who that is. Uh, right, let's have a look here. Uh, I guess we can send one here. Is there some that get you like specific like upgrades for the jackdaw? And I don't know which ones, so I'm just gonna kinda scroll through them and see. Um 
I don't really know. It doesn't say. I guess... I can't really be fucked with that, to be honest. Uh, Alright, well, we'll deal with that. Whatever. Let's exit the captain's cabin and wrap up this episode. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me for episode... What is this? 22? I don't know. I have no idea. Um... There we go. Nice. It's been a good time. We're getting very close to the game now, and I think next episode will likely be the one where we finish. I feel I feel that's what's going to happen next episode. We will uh, finish all the Templars, head to the observatory, sort all the modern day stuff, get those final cutscenes, and sort of wrap up the game, which will be really nice. So there we go. That's that done. I'll see you next episode for the finale. Uh, it might be an extra long episode, or it might just be a normal sort of length episode. Who knows? Uh, but I reckon my aim will be to finish it next episode. Thanks for joining. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.